According to an IDF spokesperson, Israel is allowing safe movement for Gazans as we bring you this bulletin. Two main roads in the southern territory have been earmarked between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. local time for the movement. This comes after the United Nations warned of the short time given to 1.1 million people to evacuate from that area. In a statement on social media X, the IDF spokesperson said, and I quote, for your safety, take advantage of the upcoming time to move southwards from Beit Hanun to Khan Yunis, end of quote. This map shows the route which has been allowed by the IDF for safe passage. The route is from Beit Hanun to Khan Yunis. The tweet further says that the residents of the beach, sand and west of Olive will also be allowed to move on Dal Dal and Al Sana streets towards Salah Al Din and Al Bahir streets. Our correspondent Jody Cohen sends that sent us this latest update from Ranana, Israel. Yes, so Israel warned um, Palestinian civilians in northern Gaza to move to southern Gaza. Uh, reportedly about 420,000 people have managed to move. Israel has accused Hamas of stopping more from moving and Hamas reportedly told people not to listen to Israel's warning and that it was propaganda and fake news. So in response, Israel dropped leaflets over um, the area, the neighbourhoods of northern Gaza to say that it was true and that people should move to safety. Now, um, Secretary of State Blinken said that he's working with Israel to try and secure safe areas for Gazans. Israel says it's established evacuation corridors and that people should go in these between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. today, giving more time for civilians to be able to move to the safer areas. Now, Israel says it's doing what it can to save Palestinian lives while trying to defeat Hamas, um, which U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, remember, said was worse than ISIS. And President Biden has now called them also worse than Al-Qaeda. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.